Hi, folks. Welcome to the Chris Voss Show dot com, the Chris Voss Show podcast, I should say dot com. Um, and I'm joined here today with a very special guest, Ted Murphy, the CEO of Isaia. Now, you may have heard of him and his plethora of different companies. He's uh, uh, essentially he's a uh, creative super freak, a serial entrepreneur, a social media lover, Apple fanboy, global traveler, marathon and ultra marathon runner. And according to his bio on his blog, and from what I've seen of him. He likes to stick his tongue out in pictures, which uh, probably, makes, probably makes really good family photos when the family gets together. Uh, as a serial entrepreneur, Ted's uh, founded six different companies since 1994. His Murphy's, uh, or I'm sorry, Ted's latest venture, Isaia, operates a variety of social media properties, including Social Spark, Sponsored, Tweets, We Reward, and the latest one we're going to talk about today, Starry.com. And he's been called the father of paid blogging. His credit for creating and sponsoring the conversation industry. And his disruptive approach and unconventional nature has enabled him to raise over $14 million, probably more than that now, in venture funding. And yeah. uh, welcome. We're glad to have you, Ted. Thanks for taking some time for us. Thank you. I appreciate you uh, making some time for me. Yeah. Well, I, like I said, we met you a couple years ago at Blog World. And you're just an energizing, fun <laughs> you put the fun in business, where it's it's not boring, it's fun, and it's exciting and interesting. Well, if it's not fun, it's not worth doing at the end of the day, right? That's really true. Life, That's life's really too true. short. <laughs> That's really true. So uh, you've got a lot of different things going on. Uh, did we cover everything in the bios? Anything we missed out, left out, any new stuff maybe that you're doing? I'm having a baby. You're having a baby. I'm, well, not me personally. My wife's doing most of the work, but I like to think that I put a lot of work in up front, if you know what I'm saying. Well, that's, it's good to outsource. <laughs> that's what I'd say. It's good to outsource. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, I'm, I'm uh, getting ready to, I guess, become a daddy blogger. So. Now, is this going to be your first, uh, your first child? <laughs> this is my first child that I'm aware of. All right. <laughs> and may he be a masculine child. No, that's <laughs> The, uh, you know what's funny? I are you? Let me ask you this: Are you doing anything to prepare your child for social media, like reserving spots in social media for them, or anything like that? I, you know, I actually am. So I, I, uh, I have a couple. There's actually a blog post um, that I did a long time ago, and it was called Taco Murphy. And I, my whole thing was that I needed to find a child's name. That this was actually before we were pregnant or anything that I could make sure I could get the domain, because that was really important to me. <laughs> so, my wife is not really happy with this, because it means that the name has to be a little bit out there, but, uh, and we haven't picked the name yet, so we'll, we'll, see, we'll see how it all goes down. At the end of the day, who knows? Who knows what it will be? But I, you know, I, I, was... I, I have reserved a couple names out there that I like, but they've all been shot down. <laughs> You know, uh, given the names and the fun that you have, I'm not really sure as a child I would want you coming up with my name. <laughs> I'm just nothing personal, but you know, a guy who's sticking his tongue out in every photo and has as much fun. I, I I'm really curious now to see what name your child's going to have because it's going to be something good. It's going to be. I'm curious you know, too. We'll see what makes the uh, makes the cut. <laughs> you know what's funny is you know you, I think you're familiar with John Chow. Yeah. Yeah, you guys brought him in as one of the, the first people on uh, the Starry thing. Really great guy. I was having lunch with him uh, just Sunday, and he was talking about how when his latest child was born, he actually went in and saw what domains were available, and, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, they basically geared the name of the child based upon, you know, the domains and, and the different spaces they could get in social media. Yep. And I, 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 it's just so crazy when it comes from probably you're in my world of growing up that people would think that way, but welcome to uh, 2012. It's all about the brand. <laughs> all about the brand. So <laughs> you've launched this new, I mean, you, and forgive me if I'm wrong here, but I, I think you really were like the early pioneer father, grandfather of sponsored tweeting and sponsored paid social media. Yeah, all we, we were... Uh, you know, it all started with uh, Paper Post, which was the original platform. That was actually the original name of this company before we became Isaiah. And Paper Post, believe it or not, is still around. Um, the uh, yeah, you know, we were we were basically the first guys to pay people to write blog posts. And at that time, 
I, I still have all the old articles. I mean, people called, <laughs> called me the nastiest things out there. Like, the blog post would be entitled, Please Crash and Burn, Paper Post. <laughs> 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 and another one was called Polluting the Blogosphere. That was in Business Week. That was actually, like, the, the big article that launched everything. Wow. But, you know, you look, you look to current day and, you know, just about every blog out there does some form of sponsored posts or endorsements or reviews. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a huge industry in, its, in itself. So, um, you know, someone has to be the whipping boy for those things, but I'm, I'm more than happy to have uh, been the guy out there helping uh, bloggers pay the bills. Well, you know, I think I think uh, early on it was it was frowned upon, and what was probably funny was when Business Week did that article, they probably had advertisements running down the side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, hey, what are you doing? And you know, it's it's uh, the free, part of that freemium model of social media and being able to share on blogging. I mean, it, somebody's got to make a buck, and and I'm a big believer, as you probably are, from the capitalist nature of things. If we all make money, we all, you know, the economy goes around. So. Um, so then you then you got started with uh, probably sponsored tweets was your next venture. Yeah, sponsored tweets was the well we went from paper post to Social Spark, which was still kind of in the blogging space, and then we did um, actually Social Spark had sponsored tweets in it before we launched the sponsored tweets platform. Mm -hmm. um, so we were you know we were doing sponsored tweets from a very early um, very early point in in Twitter's life and. Uh, and then we created a platform that was just for sponsored tweets. Uh, and then we launched We Reward in 2010, I believe. And that was focused on check-ins and more of the geo, uh, geolocation stuff. And then I've always wanted to have something that was, was uh, based around photos and videos. I, I own like... Just about any domain with the name sponsored in it, like sponsored email, sponsored photos, sponsored videos. I own all of those. <laughs> if, it, if it's sponsored content, chances are I own the domain around it. Um, uh, I was going to ask you, I'm, I, you, you have a lockdown of sponsored Chris Voss, so is there any way? <laughs> I mean, you really went out of control with that. So I know, uh, I know. I just thought it was premium space. <laughs> definitely. Most definitely. You know, it's like I always tell people, build up, build for the future, build to be great someday. And yeah. you've got to plan for it. Yep. yep. So yep. It's, it's, it's taken us a while to, to figure out how to make the, the sponsored photo model work. Um, and, uh, and that's really what, what Starry is all about for us, is, is finding mm -hmm. a way where we can provide a a monetization stream that's kind of ongoing, you know. So every everything that you post has some some revenue coming in into you, and then ultimately being able to bring you an opportunity where, you know, a soft drink manufacturer comes to you and says, "Hey, I want you to pose with you know with this can, and we'll pay you 50 bucks for it. Um, just take your picture with it and share it out." That to me is is really exciting, and that's that's uh, that's really the future of that platform. That's that's the one thing that gets me because I kind of saw there was probably a bigger vision that you had there, as most people do. A lot of people they really look at some of these launches and they go, oh, you know, it, the way it is, I, I don't like it, blah 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 blah. And you're like, no, this is you know the first rollout. There's probably a bigger vision of where this is going. So that's interesting. You say that's kind of the vision of where Star is going. Yeah, you'll you'll see tonight. We're actually. Um, you know, the Glee season finale is tonight, and we have one of the cast members from Glee that is doing a, a sponsored photo on behalf of one of our advertisers. And so you see, like, the, the product. It's actually some speakers. And you see the guys holding the product, and then on the side, uh, it's, a, it's an ad for the same advertiser. So you kind of get the best of both worlds where you're, you've got this, you know, celebrity that people know, and they're they're using the product itself, and then you've got the display advertising right next to it. Mm -hmm. And the goal is, you know, we're going to be doing a bunch of these things, kind of manually testing our process and everything else, and then it's to fully automate that so that everybody has these opportunities to do sponsorships, whether you have 100 followers or, you know, 10 million followers. And, and the beauty of what I saw with Starry is, you know, I mean, Facebook just launched for, what, you know, 100-plus billion dollars they took and made. 
And I, you know, I was joking around. I'm like, oh, Facebook made a hundred billion dollars. I, I submitted, you know, hours and hours, ten probably hundreds of hours of content to Facebook. So I should be getting a check soon, right? And, <laughs> and uh, that uh, I'm told the checks in the mail. So um, that's what Mark said uh, through uh, his agent. Um, but you know, the thing is, is you don't get paid for posting. You, I mean, you, you are not the customer on Facebook or most of these social media sites. You are just uh, part of the workforce, and the advertisers are the customer. And so, why, if you're going to be posting content to Facebook and social media, Twitter, et cetera, et cetera, why not put some money in your pocket instead of their pocket? Yep, I, I you know, I, it's something that I've looked at in the social networking world for a while is that all these guys make a ridiculous amount of money, and yes, you know, they in, they have to invest in the infrastructure and the technology and everything else, but at the end of the day. It's the content and it's the users that are creating all the value, and I and I mm -hmm. believe that those users should be able to share in the success. So, yep. um, you know, I want nothing more than when somebody tweets something out and they get you know tons of visitors. Yeah, they're making money too. I'm making money. They're making money. Advertisers are happy. They're happy. We're happy. Everybody's happy. Unicorns, rainbows. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> and, I, and let's cover what Starry is because we've talked about it, and then I'm going to be doing a, 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 a podcast where we're, we're just going to we're going to go through the the screens and all that good stuff uh, later. But Starry basically is a thing you created. It also has got iPhone integration where you can go on the website, you can upload a photo, you can upload video, and you can also do I think texting. You can uh, if you want to post you know just your thoughts, and you can post those to Starry, and then uh, Starry creates a page that has advertisements on it and also has a profile page, I should say, of uh, your particular profile, the Chris Voss brand or uh, John Chow brand or some of the other uh, top bloggers you have on there. And it creates a page that basically when people click on the link and you post it to your Facebook and your Twitter, it also gives you URL you can post to G Plus and other uh, social media platforms, but makes it so that they can, when they click on your post, it goes to the uh, website that Starry sets up for you, and they can see the picture. And of course, there's ads, and of course, they click. There's a potential there to make a buck or two. Yep. yep. So, so we, um, you know, we essentially share in the revenue from those ads. Um, you know, we we have partnered with a couple of ad networks to fill the inventory on that, and then we also sell it directly. And kind of the the more the bigger the following you have, or the more verticalized you are. Um, the more you'll ultimately make from those uh, from those ads on a impression basis. So, um, you know, we have some advertisers that are already coming to us saying, "Hey, we want people who are big in tech." Well, every when people sign up to our platform, we're actually looking at your profiles. You know, you have the ability to add all your different channels and stuff when you sign up. We're we're going through and looking and saying, "Okay, this person is." you know, male or female, and they're big in tech, and they're big in, you know, they have a family or they don't have a family. And so all that allows us to then sell the advertising in a more targeting way or more targeted way and increasing the uh, the revenue that you make and that we make as a part of that. The one thing that was really smart about your service, because I take a lot of photos of my family, which is my two dogs, and I always get worried that I'll take a really great photo and, you know, I'll be stolen commercially. And so one of the really cool things that Starry did is you guys made it so I can copyright that photo or at least put the you know the copyright notification that hey this is my image on there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That that was actually something you know a, a lot of our uh, you know test subjects if you will were all celebrities um, and so we we actually kind of built this from let's start at like the the, the most demanding users that we're going to have. And then we'll kind of filter down to average everyday people that have smaller followings that ultimately one day want to be one of those celebrities, right? Mm -hmm. and so the, the ability to copyright the images came from that. Also the ability to have multiple email addresses because sometimes a, uh, a manager might post, uh, might post a photo that they've taken of, uh, of a celebrity to, to their huh. account, right? So, so you can set up your account so that it will accept... Um, emails from certain addresses, uh, and so that multiple people can kind of collaborate on one account. Cool, cool. The uh, you can you can so if you're a movie star, you can give your address to TMZ, and they can post the pictures that they're getting of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I thought that was brilliant. I thought it's really cool. And then, of course, if you want to retract a photo that you don't want maybe being made public anymore, you can go ahead and delete it, it looks like, in the system. Um, yeah. I noticed there was a – oh, one question I had for you that a few people asked me after a po podcast we talked about the other day. Uh, if uh, – on the copyright, if you're posting stuff like, say, Internet memes or maybe photos that are out there, Internet memes, however you want to pronounce it, yeah. uh, should you be putting your own copyright on those, or what would you recommend? Um, it, you know, if it's not your content, you shouldn't be copywriting it. Okay. And if it is your content, you should. So we will actually, um, we have a team here that actually scrubs through a lot of that media, too. And if we find things that are clearly uh, shouldn't be copyrighted, we'll remove them or ask the, mm -hmm. the user to, to remove them. Uh, you know, because we're, at the end of the day, we're trying to pr always protect the, the copyright holders of that content. One question I have for you, and I don't mean to throw you a hardball, but... Uh, throw me a hardball. Was, throw you a hardball. Uh, there was, and, and I don't know how much you know, you're not a copyright attorney, but there was the, there was the, um, there was the one blogger who used to draw stuff uh, uh, on uh, pictures, and he was using different pictures, but he was drawing on them and then publishing. Uh, it was Paris Hilton? No, Perez Hilton. Perez, Perez Hilton, yeah. How'd that ever work out? I mean, if, if I take an internet meme photo... Mimi, and I, I take and maybe draw some jokes on it. Is that something I should be copywriting or not? That is that is out of my league, my friend. I threw you a, <laughs> I'm sorry, and you're not a co you're not a copywriter. So my apologies. But you know, I'm I just want guy, not an attorney. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So we'll we'll do a we'll do a podcast with your legal department next week. Right. Um, no, but I was just I was just wondering about that because I'm like, boy, I don't want to do the wrong thing. So the best, best case scenario is, is don't copyright stuff like that if, unless it's your specific content on Starry. Um, the other thing I noticed that was interesting is, of course, you do have a thing there for advertisers. You also have license of photo at the bottom. And several people asked me what that was about, what that meant. So one of the, you know, we, we kind of look at there's three revenue streams for us and for our publishers. So the, the first one is, is pretty straightforward. It's just that display advertising, right? The second one is sponsored, the sponsorship of photos and videos. So I could come to you and say, hey, uh, you know, we've got a uh, client who wants you to make a video about whatever and post it to Starry, right? Uh, and then the third one is, is licensing of photos. So if you take a really great photo and somebody stumbles upon it and says, gosh, I would love to use that in an ad, or you make a really creative video and they say, God, I want to turn that into a commercial, um, we will help broker that uh, directly for you and, uh, and uh, you know, sell that content off to, to third parties, all, always with your permission, uh, and you would, you would know what that, that deal is. But, you know, we, we believe that there's a lot of value in the content that's being created out there, and most of it isn't being monetized. I mean, probably 99% of it isn't being not monetized. So we're going to try to monetize it in whatever way we can. And ultimately, when you make money, we make money. And, and it's, a, it's a good thing for everyone. I think, I think it's really important. I, I love what you're doing there. I see your products have always been like this when they've been well thought out. There's multiple streams of income coming through the different sources. You know, I made money off the of social spark. Thank you. Um, and... Uh, I made money off the of social spark, and there's several different ways to make money there where, you know, I, I guess you can do the ads on your website, and then you can also be paid for doing blog posts. Um, so I like that it's thought out that well. You know, somebody said, they, they go, you know, Chris, you're, you're not going to get, you're not making a lot of money with Starry, and I'm like, well, what you need to realize is they built a profile page for you, and if you keep consistently putting up content in the same way that you've, you know, done on Facebook, it's the cumulative effect of, of how that really builds out. Yep. Yeah, and, you know, so, so you can already see from, we're already seeing, even though the product's only been live for a couple of days, we're already seeing there's some days where people aren't posting anything, yet they're still making money uh, yeah. from the photos that they posted before. And so I, you know, I look at that and, you know, un unless you're ab able to really build a big following, you know, you're not going to make a ton of money. But, mm -hmm. Um, you know, some of the people that we have in there that only have a couple hundred thousand followers, mm -hmm. uh, I, I did the calculations on that, and they're going to make like five thousand dollars this year just from posting photos. Wow, that's which is, for 
right? That and it's sucks, you bad. Right, and that that doesn't suck, right? Like, and because yeah. you were going to be doing it anyway. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> it's work you're doing. I mean, why, why get, why, you know, why do the work yourself? I mean, right. you know, have somebody else do the work, and you benefit. Kind of like you having a baby, you know, let the wife do the work. Exactly. Um, <laughs> so I love that aspect of it, you know. And then the other smart thing is somebody, you know, they're like, well, it's just, you know, they go see the photo when they click on it. I'm like, no, there's a profile page. They can see all the other photos that you posted. And I've actually spent time going through some of my friends' other photos to see what else they posted. Did you see your new profile, by the way? Uh, whose new profile? Go to, go to your page. Let's see here. You've got upgraded, brother. I got an upgrade. Cool. I have to, <laughs> I'll have to send you that $5. Uh, let's see. Or 100 bucks. Uh, let's see. Where am I at? Uh, Go to starry.com slash Chris Voss. Starry.com slash Chris Voss. Uh, I think it. No, I'm logged in. Let's see. Chris Voss. Yeah, I saw John Chow got one. I asked John. I said, oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is great. Thank you. That is amazing. Wow. And my family's there, the two dogs. And uh, um, It's amazing sure what you can find on the Internet, right? <laughs> it is. I'm, you know, I'm... I'm thinking about the other that's on the internet and very happy that you chose those photos. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you obviously had no idea my porn background. Um, but uh, I'm not sure. Who's the fat guy in the photos, though? What is that? There's, no, I'm just kidding. Um, so thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, I even posted a disturbing pic of Paula Dean, which is on there. Let's check out. Um, <laughs> I think I posted that last night. Uh, but... Uh, no, thank you very much. I thought it was cool that you guys do that, where it has that profile page. Yeah, it's it's you know it's obviously not something that we that we can do for everyone, but you know the people that 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 sign up that we can see are actively posting that have a big following. You know, we're going to go in and uh, and spruce that up a little bit for them because not everybody has the the resources or the um, you know the time to actually make that happen. We're gonna so put this on screen for a second so that we can see it. But, uh, you know, the thing is, too, is you've got a subscribe button so that people can push button their RSS feeders. Yeah, that's actually, so there's there's two things that we're doing there. Right now, we're actually building, we're building email lists, double opt-in email lists. Uh, and our goal is actually that we're going to allow you to download those email lists of people that have subscribed to you. So that right. if you, yeah, so that if you're, if you're sending out your own monthly emails or something like that, they will be able you'll be able to, to grab that double opt-in email list from us. Um, wow. The other part of that is going to be you know those subscriptions. When every time you post something, we're going to send out a little notification to the people that um, to the people that have subscribed to you. And ultimately, that will also contain an advertising message, so your emails will be monetized through us as well. So. Our goal is to basically make it so all you have to do is take great photos and great videos. We'll take care of all the monetization stuff for you, and we'll build as many hooks as we possibly can uh, to different monetization sources. Wow. That is, I mean, you guys are really the outside of everything. I mean, you could really use this as a, a stopping point or as a delivery point, kind of an about me page, if you will, uh, for... Uh, you know uh, your profile on the internet if you really wanted to. Yeah, and one of the, one of the reasons that we that we went with email on that as opposed to like a uh, just doing like a follow or something like that is, you know, we recognize that that there are. Oh my gosh, I thought she was naked for a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of the disturbing part of the uh, Paula Dean uh, picture. For yeah. a second, you're like, what? <laughs> and uh, so, so I just want to go everybody this is really cool you've got the subscribe you've got ask me a question now does that go to me personally or does that go to you guys oh you haven't done that yet you should you should uh, well you'll get you'll get a question yourself but actually if you you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a question right now um, you can see how that works because it's actually one of the things that I think is really neat about the platform um, does it work as an instant messenger or no it it uh it actually will send out an email. My name is Ted. Uh -huh. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna fill this in. You can see it here. 
I'm going to let you kill this because it's uh, stressing you hanging out. <laughs> but thanks, thanks for the the uh, profile picture there. That's that's hilarious. Um, no problem. Um, let's see here. All right. So I just sent you a message, and then if you look back on there and you refresh that, you should see that there's like a little. Um, you have to go back in your admin. Okay. In the about me. Oh, I see there. Okay, so let's uh, let's bring this up. I closed up the screen share, so we'll bring this up one more time. And uh, so yeah, I can see there's one message right up here in the top part. Right. So if you click and, in, the, uh, this is amazing. I mean, this is really amazing what you guys have thought about this. I've got to change the copyright to me on this too. Uh, who's your favorite guest? And so then I can reply with a photo. Well, that would be Ted Murphy from Isaiah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can block user, ignore request, reply with video, reply with a photo. That is awesome. You got the messages right up here. So what? Um, that's really brilliant, Ted. I, what? I really love how this is about. So what happens is when you reply to that, I will actually get an email that says, "Hey, Chris Voss replied to your message," and it'll give me a link back to your to your page and your reply that you just posted uh, for me. Wow! So we're trying to you that's know, we're really trying, amazing. Trying to really make this a, a uh, you know one package that that is fully integrated and um, you know really helps you build a fan base over time and a fan base that is that's yours and that's why I think that email is actually so important is you know if, if you have followers or subscribers or you know any sort of proprietary system if you decide and go build a website later you can't really do anything with that data that's been gathered right but our goal is yeah. to give you those email subscribers and you can use that um, you know, for your own purposes. I mean, you guys may end up being another, uh, technically maybe another social media uh, network, social network. Let's see. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's it's been at least an hour since social launched uh, from Microsoft, so I think it's time for another one. But, no, <laughs> I, I love that setup. I mean, you've got total integration. You can follow people on Twitter uh, from here. I mean, you can literally use this as a profile page on the internet and send most of your traffic to it. Uh, you can put this, uh, if you're on Twitter or Facebook and you want a link, you can put a link in your uh, Twitter page uh, for your HTTP coming back to here. Um, and it really makes sense to me. I mean, if you're going to work, work smart. And uh, if you're going to post your pictures, post them on starny.com. Have have you uh, have you checked out your page on your mobile device? Uh, I have not, and that's the one thing we should probably mention. Is it on Android yet, or is it just on the iPhone it, for now? It's on it's on Android. It's on iPhone. But if you go to you know go to your profile page in Safari, you'll see um, it's all mobile optimized as well. So not only okay. are we ser not only are we serving an ad, and are you getting an ad share on your regular page, but you're also getting a um, you're getting a revenue share on your uh, on your mobile page as well. Mm -hmm. And okay, so you get mobile as well, and that's really important because so many people nowadays are using their iPads and everything else to get into mobile. And then of course you've got the. Let's see if we can get this on our screen. It probably won't show up too well given the light background and everything. Yeah. But you've got the Starry app on the iPhone and the Android. Um, so you can basically, you know, most people do post from the mobile, so that makes it awesome where they can just post, rock and roll, and go. So yeah. I love I love the product, Ted. It's it's I'm and I'm really glad you took the time to explain a lot of this stuff because when I go through and walk through the screens and and kind of explain this in more depth on the Chris Voss show, we'll uh, we'll be able to cover more of this data that we have and understand the product better. Um, but yeah, I mean, five thousand bucks a year. I gotta think of all the years I've been on Facebook. How many checks did I get from them? <laughs> Zero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. There's, uh, you know, again, not everybody's gonna be able to get that point, but that's, you know, a couple hundred thousand followers. That's not, that's not crazy. There's a, there's a good amount of people out there that have it. And you know what? Even if it's a couple hundred bucks, it's 
couple hundred bucks you didn't have. Yeah, and it, you know, <laughs> doing the work anyway. So, anything more we need to cover on the Starry product? This is awesome. No, I think um, you know our goal is to to rev on the product pretty quickly, and to we've gotten a ton of of great feedback from people with uh, you know new ideas and and uh, suggestions, and so we're going to be putting out releases pretty quickly, and and hopefully improving the product to uh, make it even better for users. That'll be awesome. Now let me ask you this: I've got multiple accounts on Twitter. Is there a way to incorporate multiple accounts into one account, or do I need to separate? Um, they're, they're separate accounts right now because you can only, our platform currently only lets you OAuth to one Twitter account uh, mm -hmm. per, per, per profile. Um, you can, if you OAuth into, uh, and that's kind of also because of how Twitter is set up, yeah. if you, but if you OAuth into Facebook, you can actually set which fan page you, or if you want to post to your personal page or a fan page uh, if you have one of those. Or both. That's really awesome. I forgot about that. That's really awesome to be able to put that to your Facebook fan page. You guys probably created that rule too to make sure the Kardashians don't overpost the whole family there. <laughs> Kardashian sisters. So that's probably the thing. Well, anything else you want to cover, uh, Ted? Uh, give us your plugs. Tell us where to find you on the internet and all that good stuff. I'm uh, at Ted Murphy on Twitter, uh, slash Ted Murphy on Facebook, and. Uh, Ted.me, but my blog is, I, I don't know how bloggers do it. I don't, I'm trying to be a blogger, but it's so much freaking work. I can't keep it up, man. <laughs> well, most, most bloggers probably aren't running a, you know, public company and uh, all the different things you're doing. Oh, my so. gosh, I'm going to run out of battery. I have 2% left. We might okay. die. All <laughs> right, well, thanks for the interview, Ted. We love you. Uh, can we get one classic Gene Simmons stick your tongue out from you? <laughs> <laughs> thanks, buddy. Take care and continue Thank success. You. All right. All right. Thanks, Chris. Bye bye. Bye.